Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Zebs here bringing you another tutorial today on Designs Academy and today I'm going over something that I usually don't post uh, on this channel a whole lot. Mostly I stick to 3D related things, but I decided uh, after a few requests and whatnot, I decided, well, let's do some motion design tutorials. Uh, so this will be the first of the series and I'm going to start off with something very basic here, which is actually a really cool effect that you can use on a lot of your uh, compositions. Um, so basically, this series won't mess with any of my 3D stuff, I'm still going to be posting 3D stuff, but sometimes I will be posting After Effects tutorials on cool things. Now this effect I'm about to show you can be used in your 2D intros, it can be used for montages, whatever it may be, I'm just showing you how to do it so that you can use this uh, technique for things if you want to. Uh, so today I'm basically just going to be showing you this right here. And basically what this is, is it's just a path of dots just following whatever it may be that you want it to follow. Um, so like I said, how it can be used for 2D things is that you just have them like map wherever you want it to go, which I, I will show you later in the tutorial on how to do. Uh, so let's get started. So what we're going to want to start off by doing is making the path for the lines to follow. And to do that, you're just going to go to your pen tool and you're just kind of going to make a uh, shape of whatever you like, doesn't matter. I'm just going to kind of make something here. And what you want to do next is you want to go to your fill settings here, so fill options. You want to select, by default it will be set to solid color, you want to select it to none. And then you want to go to your stroke and I'd say set it around 3 pixels. And then what you want to do next is you want to go down to uh, contents, shape, and then you want to go to stroke one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the little dashes. And to do that, all you got to select is the dashes button right here. So click that. And as you can see here, if I click off, you'll see that it already made its little dashes. Um, so it's super easy, nothing too complex with that. So a cool little thing that I like to do is if you go into your, um, so if you zoom in close on it, you can see that they're kind of sharp edges. It's not very smooth. So if you go to... Uh, line cap, you can select it to round cap, and what that'll do is it will cause the uh, little things to be round, edge, round, ed edged, yeah, the edges will be round, um, <laughs> or rounded. So now that we have this, what we're going to want to do next is motion track it. Um, so it's super easy, if you've ever used After Effects before, it just consists of uh, keyframing. So what we want to do now is we want to go into our contents, click add, and you want to add a a trim paths right here add that and then go down in the trim paths open the settings for that and as you can see here when I change the end percentage down it doesn't have the full uh, pen tool effect so if I keep changing it around you can see that it, it uh, it's the whole thing but it's not showing the full like pen tool over here so basically all we're gonna do is set the uh, percentage to zero to start off and we're going to add a keyframe to it. So to do so, just click this little like uh, time watch thing here and that will create a keyframe for you. And depending on how fast you want this to go, I'm just gonna set mine to maybe six seconds and then all you wanna do next is just put the percentage all the way up to 100%. And as you can see here, there's two little dots here on the uh, timeline which shows the keyframes that we just made. So now, if we go from back to the uh, starting keyframe, push space or whatever your play button is, it is starting to map out the uh, thing we made earlier with the pen tool. And let's say if I wanted to go faster, you just move this second keyframe to say like two seconds. And what this will do is it will allow it to move much faster. And it's the same as if you want it to be slower. Just move the keyframe out more, why not? So next, let's basically show you how you could use it in a 2D intro if you wanted. Um, so we're just gonna start over. I'm just gonna get a basic uh, circle in the center. Just boom, doesn't need to be much. Just gonna put that right there. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is start the process. So we're going to get our pen tool and let's say we want it to just kind of boop, like so, and then Oops, do this. Same setting, we're gonna have the fill to none and then the pixels to three. And then we're gonna down, contents, shape, 
stroke fill, add a dash, and then if you want, you can have it, but I'm just gonna have a round cap. And then you can do a add, add a trim path, and then just kind of kind of start the keyframe. So end at zero, let's, oops. Up, and then, wait, what? Where's the keyframe? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So we're just gonna kind of move this and zoom out a little bit. Just have it right there. And then we're gonna move it a little bit and then add our second keyframe to 100%. And then now, oops, more at that. If we just click enter, you can do a little center thing there. Um, so, for the sake of the tutorial, you could go all the way around all the circles and whatnot, have it pop in however, have it however you like, but I'm just showing this as a basic example that like, you can use this technique for a lot of things, uh, especially with 2D intros, how they pop and show a bunch of different effects. This would be a really useful one, depending on what it could be. Another cool thing you do is, is if you uh, map this over a logo, you could have your logo be filled out with this effect. So there's a lot of things you can do with this, and that's why I thought this would make a really Really cool first tutorials that you can there's endless possibilities with this effect of what you wanted to do with it and it's super easy to do as you see I pretty much did in like less than 30 seconds um, so that has been my tutorial today guys on uh, my very first or yeah my first After Effects tutorial on Designs Academy uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these um, do so by leaving a comment down below and liking the video and uh, leave some feedback also if you'd like uh, today, I've been your host today, Zebs, and I am out. Peace.